Welcome back to the Cool Fear Channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on the channel stands for all collectors and not children. And welcome to episode six of my in depth behind the scenes toy photography video series where I go in depth behind a single shot that I've taken for my Epic Shots by Cool Figures Instagram page and take you guys behind the scenes of my process, what the inspiration was, what the thought is behind the image, my lighting, and so much more. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. So this week, guys, we have the Pink Skulls versus Titania Man. So once again, guys, shout out and thank you so much to Diamond Select for sending me over Titania Man from their Marvel Select line for me to shoot and review. I had a lot of fun with this guy and I continue to have a lot of fun. Um, you know, last week I utilized this guy up against the Mezco Toys Hawk P40. And this week I had to do a shot with the Pink Skulls. As you probably know, uh, I have been obsessed with these guys since I got them in. Uh, so yeah, I definitely had to do this shot. And what a fun shot it is. And the funny thing is, guys, I actually had to reset this shot up twice uh the first time i did it i got my shot in it was all good and everything uh, it was actually a really busy day in terms of work so i was like kind of like not really thinking things through too well because as soon as i finished shooting and everything uh, my dumbass went and destroyed the shot i went ahead and put everything away uh put titanium man on his shelf and as i put him down walked away i was like Shit, I didn't even record the behind the scenes video, so uh, I had to reset it up. But thankfully, as with everything, you know, the first time it's going to be a lot more difficult. So uh, this time I went backwards. So originally I had set up the pink skull on the Mezco stand first and then the ones on his shoulders. But this time I figured it'd be easier to go the other way around, and it definitely was. I still had to spend quite some time on that one uh, hanging from his hand, but. Uh, you know, it was still a lot easier than fidgeting with him, getting him perfect, and then putting the ones on his shoulder, uh, and then them tapping and moving the body just enough so that way the one on the Mezco stand totally flops it and eats it. So, yeah, live and learn, guys. Always live and learn. But, yeah, guys, with that being said, the premise behind this one is really just, you know, the Black Skulls are fucking with Titanium, man. You know, as you can see, um one's hanging off his hand and uh titanium man is not having it he's about to bust a skull in um one of them's taking off his helmet and is now attempting to put it on himself while the other one's about to bash into his head with his own fist uh to hopefully uh you know kind of draw his attention away from bashing his brother's skulls in uh so yeah guys that pretty much wraps up the premise of this photo like i had said last week when i first got this guy in hand the titanium man uh, i had gotten two images in my head it was this one and last week's image if you want to know what last week's image is go ahead and check episode five of my in-depth behind the scenes toy photography video series or check out the full image over at epic shots by cool figures um but this one was also one that was stuck in my head and uh, i actually pushed back a few other images that i had planned uh, ahead of this one and the one from last week uh, so that way I can get them done because I really wanted to do it because I thought this would be a really fun one and boy was I right so with that being said guys why don't we go ahead and start taking a closer look at everything so as I pull out we will see we have two key lights up here at full brightness now I do use a uh, Photoshop Lightroom to edit my pics I don't use any kind of like editing stuff besides like a filter and messing with the colors and saturation and contrast and brightness and all that stuff and so I use a darker filter with more of a vibrant one so I do find that uh, when only using a single key light, it kind of tends to darken it a little too much and you lose a lot of detail. Um, but utilizing two key lights allows you to utilize those darker filters while still maintaining quality detailing and uh, color saturation and popping like these guys, you know, the greens and the pinks and everything like that. So I have started using two key lights, one coming in from this side, one coming in from this side. As always, I do have my warm orange light back here to, you know, just add a little life. I find that adding light behind your characters always adds a little bit of life. I have this smaller one back here just to catch the atmosphere aerosol so that way you see it in the background. And of course, to contrast that warm orange light, I do have this cool blue light right there. And of course, I do have the small cube light right here aimed just so that way you guys can see them right there. And look at the bunch right here. So let's go ahead and pull in closer to these guys. So as I said, this guy is technically hanging on by the hand. Uh, but really, it's the Mezco stand that is holding him up. 
and it's really this atmosphere aerosol can that's holding up everything and weighing it down so moving on up here we have this guy right here all trying to put on the helmet uh i don't think it's gonna fit bud uh but then his buddy over here is also about to just bang into his head with his fist as you can see uh he is the drummer after all so he'll probably do it with some good rhythm and time so anyways guys um yeah that's pretty much it like i said last week a pretty simple premise nothing too much i haven't really messed with the background and area too much since i first got these uh pink skulls however that will be changing next week just a bit i will just kind of just rearrange things not too much not too crazy but um for my next picture idea i'm gonna have to move some stuff around so that it's more in view and stuff like that but next week's shot is definitely going to be a fun one so let me go ahead and pull out one more time get a good nice overview and yeah, let's go ahead and pull back in all right guys so that wraps up this portion of the video but stay tuned because up next we will see the time lapse of me setting up the image followed by the image itself, a few different alternate angles and behind the scenes images. With that being said, guys, if you've made it this far in the video, type down in the comments below, Pink Menace. That way I know you've made it this far and you're enjoying the content. If you can and want to help support the channel, please check out my Patreon link, link down below in the description. With that being said, let's go ahead and move on into the time lapse and the images. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day.